Hello everyone. As I'm enthusiastic about the theory of relativity and expect the same from people, but unfortunately I don't see it, I've decided to show it in a different way, in a more conceptual way. So let's get started and see. I prefer to start with assuming that nature is a perfect system. For example, in a multifunctional machine, a small reverse cogwheel could lead your machine crackling and an operative at some point. But that doesn't exist in nature. Nature is an immaculately consistent system. So, reaching a point that contradicts the assumption means nothing but you made a mistake. And what we're doing here is using that kind of reason that makes it less likely to make this, to make this kind of mistakes. Okay, now, and for the sake of big picture, let's imagine a being, call him X. This X holds our universe, looks at it, and sees everything, mass, energy, and motion. Physics is all about knowing what this being is seeing, and there are things we're sure this being is seeing. We call these things postulates. Nothing can contradict these postulates and be right. I hope you keep this X in your mind, because as we go along, we define him more precisely, realizing things he can see, things he can't be seeing. We check our understanding through his eyes. Okay then, our minds now are all set and ready to close the heart of our subject here, the theory of relativity. Relativity starts with a postulate, a postulate that governs every motion. This first postulate can be stated as Laws of physics are the same in all inertial frames of reference. Let this be the first statement of the first postulate, and we can define inertial frame to be any object moves with constant velocity or constant speed in a straight line. Now look. We can relate this first statement to the second one. You can't recognize a moving inertial frame from a stationary one. There isn't an absolute inertial frame. And it's actually a simple deduction to get the second statement from the first one. And it is how could you ever recognize a moving inertial frame from a stationary one when all the phenomena go the same for the inertial frame? What makes any inertial frame special? This idea expressed in a thought experiment called the Jerry Lewis ship, which is explained quite clear here. Shut yourself up with a friend in a ship and with you have some small flying animals and a bottle of water with some fish in it and a bottle of water that empties drop by drop in a vessel beneath it. With a ship standing still, observe carefully how the small animals fly with equal speeds in all directions. The fish swim in the front area in all directions. The drops fall into the vessel beneath it and in throwing something to your friend you need to turn no more strongly in one direction than another. When you have observed all these things carefully, though doubtless when the ship is standing still, everything must happen in this way. The ship will have the ship proceed with any speed you like, so long as the motion is uniform and not fluctuating this way and that, you will discover not the least change in all the effects named, nor could you tell from any of them whether the ship was moving or standing still. Given a closer look at the conclusion, you will discover not the least change in all the effects named, nor could you tell from any of them whether the ship was moving or standing still. Now, do you realize how powerful this postulate is? Think of it as a boundary condition and put it in this way. Do whatever experiment you want. You want to be able to determine whether a frame is moving or standing still. In college, I spent my third level 
thinking is that all I need is to find out the specific set of experiments that when I apply this boundary condition on them, the special theory of relativity will come out as an escapable result. The special theory of relativity is a one postulated theory. This is what I was thinking, and I was planning to discuss what made me think is this misleading here. But here is the new deal. If you're familiar with the special theory of relativity, I'd like you to take part in and tell me what do you think about this idea and what could make it wrong or misleading. And if you're not familiar with the special theory of relativity, keep an eye on the opinions and I'll tell my opinion in the next time. Now, I'd like to end this video at this point, hoping you enjoy it and see you next time.